for the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the roots are given by this formula. What are the two roots of this equation then? They are negative b plus root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and negative b minus root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now the nature of the roots depends on one important value and that value is under the square root sign. It's b squared minus 4ac. Why do I say this value is important? It's because this value decides the nature of the roots. If you think about it, there can be three possibilities for this value. It can be greater than 0, it can be equal to 0 and it can be less than 0. What happens in the first case? As the value is positive, the square root of the value will result in a real number. And it means that both the roots will be real and they will be distinct too. Take this quadratic equation for instance. We'd solve for the roots and got the answer as 2 or negative 1 over 3. Here the value of b squared minus 4ac is 1, which is greater than 0. And we can see that the roots are real and distinct. Now take this equation and find the value of b squared minus 4ac. You should get it as 0. And these were the roots we got after we solved it. And here's an example of the third case. You will see that value of b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. As there is no real number whose square will give us a negative number, the real roots of this equation will also not exist. The expression b squared minus 4ac is given a special name. It's called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. It is the discriminant that decides if the quadratic equation has real roots or not. If it's greater than 0, then the quadratic equation will have two distinct real roots. If it's equal to 0, then the quadratic equation will have equal real roots. And if it's less than 0, then the quadratic equation will have no real roots. We will cover a couple of examples in the next part of the video.